next. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna talk about the paradox that uh, Zongritz presented, which is pretty much, I'll, I'll just put it the way I hear it, that if God is all-powerful, then God has the power not to be God. If God has the power not to be God and does it, then God is not God, and God was not God at the beginning because of the fact that he was possibly wasn't all-powerful. Actually, no. I'm just going to say that if God is all-powerful, God has the power not to be God, and God has the power not to be God, then God is not God. There we go. And that's just fucking stupid. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a roundabout reasoning and the way of thought, but it's just fucking stupid. I gotta be real with it. Look, if I'm, for example, if I'm gonna create a video game that I could do and change whatever in the video game I ever want to or will ever want to, I'm all powerful. I can do whatever I fucking want with the video game. And no one can tell me otherwise. Am I not all powerful? I can do whatever the fuck I want, at least in the means of the connection with the video game. Do whatever the fuck I want with it. Am I not all powerful? And I'm guessing and thinking, yes, I am fucking all-powerful when it comes to the video game. I can do and change whatever the fuck I want to with it. Now, if someone comes to me and says, can you do something in the video game that can never affect and never change ever, ever again? Okay, like, sure, yeah, I can do it. And I do it, and the video game gets fucked up. All fucked up, can't really fix it anymore because I did that one thing that fucked up the entire video game. So what the fuck am I going to do? Keep playing this shitty ass video game you got fucked up because I listened to some douchebag or eject... Crack beta version fucking two, problem fucking solved. I that's literally my position on that paradox. Like, yeah, you're all powerful till you let some douchebag convince you of something. And when you came to the understanding where you start talking about God and you know like he's a sadistic Santa Claus, so on and so forth, that hands out you know syringe needles and freaking HIV and all this other stuff. Interesting point, and I, and I get where you're coming from. You're pretty much saying that God's rules are so set and so doctrinated, indoctrinated that there is no wiggle room and that God literally created these rules, the rules of the Bible and, you know, other holy books, which are so many others, to fuck with us and to pretty much send us all to hell or suffer forever. And I look at this, it completely fucking different. I see it as freaking, you can see God's love by the lot, large level of diversity and large level of freedom that he has given us to do and act as we please. I mean, God's hand was so largely on the world and we wouldn't have atheism we wouldn't have fucking religious nut jobs blowing blowing each other up for different religious ideals and i mean if there is just one religion why are there so many different books and if you know it, it's just like i see the diversity of the world as a position of god's love the god literally wants us to grow as his children together to grow to understand each other's differences and grow into just a better understanding of our global community and help each other as such. That God, instead of having this huge freaking hand like trying to punish us and torture us throughout our fucking lives and does it for kicks, actually wants us to, you know, fucking grow up and help each other like we should have been doing for, you know, however fucking long. And yeah, that I think the possibility for all these different ideas and different perspectives, more so than anything, is just the way of getting to the path of finding God. That, you know, we can all come together, we can all understand and eventually come to a better perspective and better understanding of each other through each other. And that God would be happy if we helped each other. I think, honestly, that's that's my position on a lot of this stuff. If God would be happy that we help each other, then why the fuck has he made so many people to suffer and die in such horrible fucking means and manners? And then that God I would have a hard time signing on with. I'd kind of probably be pissed off. But I think... I honestly believe that God kind and good. Well, let, 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 let me address that point, because you, you did say an all-good God. I, I think your position of good is generally based in a dogmatic understanding, like all-good, dog, very dogmatic. You're trying to posi position God in the level of a definition to which you understand by your perspective. And this is what gets me. I think that, honestly, a lot of atheists see and come to conclusions about the world around them through their own understanding of the, their individual sentience. That their sentience and their understanding of all that is and that they all, that pretty much that's all they need to see you from and that's all there is to really understand about this universe is their individual sentience. If you can understand what I mean by that, good job. But... I find out a huge problem with that because there's so much other, there's so much stuff that we can't really comprehend with our level of sentience. And I think God definitely is one of those things that you can't really comprehend the understanding of God to a certain level that we would really need to to start coming to a real conclusion, a real understanding about God. I mean, and I said this in my other video when I said atheism is pointless, and I still think that, but 
you know, it really doesn't offer anything, and it's, it's just, I don't know. It's the understanding, like I said, that fucking, that God is consecrated by humanity. That's what atheism seems to me, you know, like what it is. And it, it doesn't seem like it really has a point or any level of benefit to people. And I'm not saying religion has that great of a benefit, but it does have some positive aspects and a lot of negative aspects. And I'm not unaware of those negative aspects. And what was I going to say? Atheism, perspective, God. Oh, fuck, I lost my point. Um, atheism is individual sentience. God. Oh, yeah. That, um, that honestly, I, I, and I said this, that trying to imagine God or understand God is like trying to understand and imagine the universe. It's fucking impossible. And to even try to do that, you're, you're fucking, you've got more than a fucking mountain to deal with. You've got freaking, I don't know, a freaking star ahead of you. Like, you literally have to try to imagine a huge, like, try to imagine the fucking sun. That shit's impossible. To try to imagine the sun in, like, a varied perspective towards us or in connection with us. Like, how big is the sun? How small am I? Like, it, it's impossible to do that. And I think that because atheists generally do come to this understanding about the universe for the individualized sentience, that to think that there is something bigger and vaster than just what we basically know about the universe to come to a concept of or understanding of is just hard for them to deal with. That their sentience is not a good enough answer to certain questions that their sentience is not sufficient to ask or answer or come to any real conclusion about certain ideas. And the fact that that comes into conflict with what they believe, that it brings up certain understandings, certain perspectives. And I mean, if you look at most religious books, it's books literally trying to come up with concepts and understandings that are way, way beyond their ability or their understanding of sentience. And this is something that the Bible and pretty much a lot of holy books deal with that, you know, sentience is limited. Our understanding of sentience and consciousness is very much so limited. We don't fully understand all of this. And atheists take that like these people are trying to grasp with ideas that are way freaking too advanced for them. And they're freaking insanely great ideas, but they're trying to grasp at them. And that for some reason that science can now answer these questions of the questions that can't be understood fully from our sentience. That science is going to be the end-all, be-all answer for it. And I'm, I'm sorry, science science does a lot of stuff, and I'm not against science, and I, it's not like I don't believe in science, but there still could be so much more that we don't understand about this universe, about this world, about our existence. And, yeah. And I think that atheists fall short on that, largely fall short on that. Spiritual aspects of humanity come to no position or no love through atheism. Atheism. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and even from a humanist point of view, atheism doesn't do that much. It really doesn't. Because atheists don't really look to benefit humanity. I mean, I watch so many of Thunderfoot's videos, like... He's like, you know, oh, we're not doing stuff with NASA anymore. We're going to spend it on the million. Well, how about, you know what, we take some money from NASA and feed, you know, hungry people. You know, starving children. But scientific research trumps helping starving people. Because the individual level of sentience to which he has is individualized to the point to which science is the greatest aspect. And knowledge and power is the greatest aspect. When I'm on the other hand of relieving suffering for so many is greater than our fucking scientific advancements. Sorry, that's my position. I value the lessening of suffering over the increase in scientific knowledge. And that's just me, I guess, talking from not even a religious point of view, but just a freaking caring point of view. And a humanist point of view, I guess you could say, to some degree. But, you know, that's me. And that's why I think that Thunderfuss is a fucking douchebag. I really don't like him. I, I agree with him a lot of times, and sometimes I completely disagree with him, but... I just have no respect for a person that comes out and says, you know, either reasonable or you're religious. You're either a fucking douchebag. Well, no, you're just a fucking douchebag. I'm just going to say it. Because, like I said, so there's a lot of videos and any atheist that thinks that reason is freaking mute, is mutually exclusive to atheism, fuck off. Because Martin Luther King was a reasonable person. Malcolm X was a reasonable person. Freaking... Louis Farrakhan is a reasonable person. There's a lot of reasonable people out there. Michelangelo was a reasonable person. Leonardo da Vinci, a reasonable person. 
These are all very much so reasonable people. They helped create science as we know it today, and for some reason you're gonna equate atheism and reason on this fucking, like, pedestal, this fucking show. Go fuck yourself. And, I, I mean, honestly, yes. And the whole freaking Batman and Barbie freaking point you came up with, oh my god. If I said God is the universe, that something that most people don't think about, a position that most people wouldn't say or come to a conclusion about. But shit, I can believe it. In fact, I said something that I actually kind of believed. I, I, I just said it like, you know, a kind of a cool thought. But, you know, I, I kind of consider the universe God subconscious. And all the crazy shit that happens in the universe that we just look at like, oh my God, this has been so fucking cool. Like, oh my God, what the fuck? This star is blowing up. Holy shit, we're just figuring out what? There's other planets like Earth, but like four than seven times bigger. Oh, this shit, that's cool. And I, I think about that as God subconscious. Like, all the beauty in the universe to a certain degree, to me, is God. And, um, yeah, yeah. And even, like, with that, I can have just a vast level of respect for this universe and a vast level of love for this universe. And I can call that God because the beauty is so unexplainably beautiful to me that there is no other word to describe it besides God. All good. All beautiful. This existence to us has allowed consciousness and so many other beautiful things to come into being. And to be able to live and breathe in such a fucking beautiful and gorgeous fucking manner. Yes, I'll call that God. And it's not like, oh, it's Batman, it's Batman. No, it's fucking beautiful is what it is. And I'm sorry if atheists want to come to this conclusion about just trying to disprove every understanding about God because they come to the connection with the religion. Or they go against, you know, these this atheistic fucking viewpoint. Like, yeah, my answer is I don't have an answer and that's fucking right. Okay, great job golf clap. I just don't have a level of respect for it. I'm not saying I don't respect atheists. I just don't respect that fucking bullshit that they try to present. And I'm gonna leave people with this. The reason atheists have such a largest level of distrust, my biggest group in America, at least I, I'm not sure if it's around the world, but at least in America, a huge level of people don't trust atheists. It's because of the fact that you guys well, generally, people can understand this understanding of God and morality, and God and morality have came to a point of institutionalization through religion, and understanding a person is an atheist comes to a great level of questioning about their level of personal morality. And I do get that aspect of it, but more than that, people that think about it, I don't like a lot of atheists because of the fact that they spend more time bitching than they do looking for options, in a or not options, they spend more time bitching about religion than they do trying to help people. I mean, shit, you guys spend more time talking about, like, all oh, these religious people are doing this, all oh, this religion that, all oh, this religious pastor said this, blah, 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 shut the fuck up already. What does that have to do with helping humanity? Where is your position of better sense of morality? You don't have one. If atheists, like, 20 atheists got together, and this is, like, what the... 40% of atheists did, just 40%, let's just say 40% of atheists did this, that they got together, you know, groups 10, 20, 30, 40, and they started going to Christian church, you know, Jewish um, temples, Mormon church, wherever, wherever, places of worship, and went to these people, and like, you know, we know you guys don't believe the same things that we believe, but we honestly feel that there's something that really needs to be done about the level of hunger and level of poverty in this certain community. And, you know, we were thinking that possibly we could get together one weekend and you could take some of your resources and we'll put some money together, so on and so forth. And we're going to, we'll just go out and help this community, this poor community with people that really need the aid and, you know, just do it to help people. If atheists did that and started making videos about that or started talking like that and started acting like that, being active members to help people, guaranteed the stigma to which is in existence towards atheists and for atheists would not be what it is. But atheists don't want to do that because they have too much fun trying to make, make it fun of religion is honestly what it is. Like, they love laughing at fucking religious people because they're fucking easy as targets. And generally, that's because of the fact that these people have came to a level of understanding and an acceptance from the authority system. And guess what? 
Same thing happens with fucking cops in certain communities. They get accepted by the authority system. The level of morality and action and self-understanding and self-perspective and self-acceptability goes out the window for this level of acceptability through the authority system. It's not a good thing, but it happens with people that are under the authority system. But do you hear atheists talking about fucking government like they do fucking religion? Generally not. And, I don't know, I mean, the Amazing Atheist kind of, but he still equates a lot of that stuff with religious idealism, which, more than anything, it actually is the fact that people are under a level of authority. And when you're under a level of authority, a lot of the stuff that you do seems more acceptable, and, well, it just seems more acceptable because of the fact that you have something that is greater than you backing you. It's not a positive thing about it, but, you know, it's whatever. And again... If atheists went out and talked to churches, so on and so forth, to actually start helping people, the stigma of fucking atheism being distrusted people would fucking change immediately. Well, it would take a little bit of time, but a year or so, with freaking a lot of atheists actively doing it, it would change immediately. But I, when I say immediately, like year immediately, that I, I guarantee you that if every atheist around the, well, 40% of the atheists in America did that, that their level of distrust would drop off at least 20% within a year. I would say, I would, I'd say that pretty confidently. I will say that pretty confidently. But it said, it's like this war on institutions. I have my own problem with institutions. They allow people to be ignorant and arrogant, but that's not the way you're going to fucking help people. That's not the way you're going to increase understanding. If a fucking Christian can start looking at an atheist, if every Christian or freaking church looked at the atheist as not like a horrible person, just a person with a level of a different a different level of thought, how great would that be to the understanding for those people? No, oh, but you don't want to do that because you want to be on your fucking high horse and make fun of religion and be like, oh my god, religion people are like, ah, oh, they believe in the sky daddy and uh, oh no, do you believe in the giant spaghetti meatball? Oh no, God is imaginary donkey balls. All this stupid fucking shit. What's the fucking point of it? Please, someone tell me the fucking point of this. How does this better humanity? What the fuck is the point of it? So you guys can feel fucking superior? Great, great, good job. Mission accomplished. Peace. What was I going to say? Oh, peace, love, and respect. I'm out. And, uh, yeah, I guess I still kind of believe that. But yeah, peace, love, and respect. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to take the love thing out. I'm playing, I guess.